Hi, this is Guy, that Coin Bureau guy. Now, before I get going on this review of Fusion, you should know that we are not paid or mandated to do any of our reviews. Also, I'm not your financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. We're a team of analysts who conduct our research and present our views for educational purposes only. And finally, if you're new to this channel, then you may want to hit that subscribe button for the latest news, reviews and analysis to come from the Coin Bureau. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump right into our review of Fusion. Fusion is a project that seeks to connect all financial transactions in an ecosystem that is cross-chain, as well as being cross-data source and cross-organization. Essentially, they're developing a protocol that would allow developers to build applications that are able to freely interact with other protocols and systems. Like many other blockchain projects, one of the main goals of Fusion is to solve the problems of scalability and interoperability that exist in blockchain technology. So, how do they hope to achieve this? Fusion has a pretty interesting technology stack. Firstly, they have their crypto financial smart contracts. These allow other cryptocurrencies mapped on the Fusion blockchain to transact with each other. Then, they have something called Distributed Control Rights Management, DCRM. This is the security layer for the Fusion blockchain, which will protect these assets that are locked in the smart contracts. Another feature that Fusion has included into these smart contracts are the multiple triggering mechanisms. These include both time and event-based triggers. Finally, Fusion also uses a unique consensus mechanism called the Hierarchical Hybrid Consensus Mechanism. This is a combination of proof of work as well as proof of stake. If you're confused by any of this, then you can read our long form review in the link below. There are a number of use cases for Fusion smart contracts. They can serve as trust systems in financial contracts of many different types. For example, they can be used to license a song, to create an asset-backed bond, rent property, or get a cash advance. Now, given that these smart contracts exist in an immutable and transparent manner, there's no need for any third parties to coordinate or validate these financial agreements. Now, powering the Fusion protocol is their FSN utility token. This was issued on the Ethereum blockchain and is therefore an ERC20 standard token. These tokens are the fuel that keep the network functioning. They're used to pay network fees as well as to execute the smart contracts. The total supply of FSN tokens is about 81 million. The team behind Fusion is quite interesting. For example, the founder is the CEO of BitSE. This is an incubator that is also responsible for the creation of VeChain and Qtum. The rest of the team have backgrounds in business and software development. Fusion held a very successful ICO back in February of 2018. They are able to raise a total of $42 million in exchange for 25% of the total token supply. Now, currently, FSN is trading on a number of lesser known exchanges, including Bitmax and Hotbit. They do have a reasonable amount of volume on Bittrex, though. You can see our Bittrex review if you want more information on this. Across these markets, there appears to be relatively healthy levels of volume, which implies decent liquidity. When it comes to storing your FSN, there are a number of wallets you can use. Any ERC20 supported wallet will do, although you're probably best suited getting a hardware wallet. So what do I really think of Fusion? Well, I think it's great that they're trying to increase interoperability and hence adoption for blockchain technology. Their unique smart contracts could provide developers with an interesting alternative to the status quo. However, they're not the only project that is trying to tackle these challenges and it has to fully roll out its network before its unique benefits can be realized. Are you a fan of Fusion? Do you have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found my video helpful, don't forget to smash up that like button and subscribe. More crypto coverage will be on its way.